Pneumatic compression pumps and devices are used to help treat and reduce swelling for different parts of the body for a wide range of conditions. There are various different types of pumps and devices out there on the market. Some are for athletes and recovery, while others are medical grade devices for different conditions like lymphedema or vein issues. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist as well as a certified lymphedema therapist that specializes in cancer rehab as well as the lymphatic system. And today in this video, we're gonna go through and talk about pneumatic compression pumps, how they are used to help reduce swelling and who they are used for. But before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram and you can check out our website for more resources. So first, how do pumps work? Compression pumps are electric pumps that are used for various parts of the body that are swollen. So they are put over that part of the body and then they inflate with air in different sequences to help get fluid moving out of that area. So these devices are used to help mimic manual lymphatic drainage, which someone would get done for something like lymphedema or chronic swelling. The different pumps are used differently, so they all have a different number set of chambers inside. Simple pumps may just have one chamber, where more medical grade or effective pumps have multiple chambers inside, and they'll be used in a certain sequence to squeeze up the leg or up the arm to get the fluid moving out of that area. So what are the different types of pumps? First, one of the most basic pumps out there is something someone get in the hospital after surgery. It would go on the lower leg and it has a single compartment inside. So it would squeeze around the lower leg and then relax and then continue on and off. This would be a really basic kind of pump that is used usually to help avoid blood clots while someone is laying there after surgery. A second type of pump is used for a recovery option for athletes. And so these pumps may have multiple chambers inside at different levels, but they will compress or inflate with air to a certain graded or fixed level or pressure, and then they'll turn back off after you are completed. So they'll actually hold that for a certain amount of time, like a hug, and then release. So they are used to help speed up recovery. They are lower in price compared to the medical grade ones. Um, they are not meant for someone who has a medical condition. They are really help just more for an athletic or athlete day-to-day -day use. They are lower in price and easier to find out on the market. You can find them online, but again, it's not a medical grade, so not as effective to help reduce swelling that is chronic. The other thing about these pumps is a lot of people, they look similar to the medical grade pumps. However, especially if someone has swelling or lymphedema in the abdomen or pelvis area, or maybe the breast or chest area, you really wanna make sure you don't use these types of pumps because if you just use the leg pieces or the arm piece and you push fluid up without that extra compression around that trunk area, you can cause worsening in your condition. And the last type of compression pump is the highest level grade and most effective kind. It is a segmented and multi-chambered pump. So meaning it has multiple chambers throughout the device that is used in a sequential pattern, meaning it starts from one end and then gradually builds up to the other end to help guide fluid in a specific direction. So these are a medical grade pump that are used for conditions such as lymphedema or chronic venous insufficiency. These types of pumps come for various parts of the body. So you have lower leg pieces, you have pieces that include your trunk, your arm, your chest area, and there's even head and neck pieces as well. These pumps are sold as medical equipment and someone will need to get a prescription from their doctor typically, at least in the United States, to obtain one that is FDA cleared and approved by insurance. So these medical grade pneumatic compression pumps are great for those who have lymphedema, lipedema, phlebolymphedema, chronic venous insufficiency or vein issues, swelling after mastectomy or injury or surgery, or someone who may have non-healing ulcers, like venous stasis ulcers or diabetic leg ulcers. Now, although these pumps are wonderful, they are not for everyone. There are some contraindications to using these pumps. So if someone has any of the following conditions, these pumps are not appropriate for you. 
someone has congestive heart failure, peripheral artery disease or acute venous disease, over any active skin infection, someone who has a history of blood clots or pulmonary embolisms, over any active cancer sites. And we want to avoid over uh, the abdomen if you are pregnant. So when should someone use these pumps? These pumps are best used in conjunction with other therapies and other ways to help manage swelling, such as with your compression garments or stockings, using deep breathing or exercises. They are typically not a first line treatment or to be used by themselves. There are some circumstances that someone will use a pump as their primary form of treatment for their swelling, but almost always there are some other pieces of the puzzle that should be involved to help manage chronic swelling or other conditions. That being said, they are still a wonderful tool for someone who has chronic swelling or chronic edema because they can help reduce swelling, manage pain, and help avoid things like infections or wounds. Swelling fluctuates day to day and it fluctuates a lot during the day for some. So a lot of people will use their pumps at night after they've been up and active throughout the day. It depends on whatever works for someone. For a lot of people, they'll use their pump once a day for about an hour, or some others may just use it a couple times a week. It just varies person to person depending on what they need and how they manage their conditions. It is best to work with your doctor or a certified lymphedema therapist to help make a personalized plan for you. So how do we get the pumps? If someone's looking for those low grade, simple pumps that are used for just athletes and recovery, they can be found online and I will put some links down below for some of the most popular ones out there. However, someone should always check with their doctor before using any of these kind of pumps, even if your conditions were not on the list I talked about sooner, just to make sure there's no safety concerns. If someone has a chronic condition, such as lymphedema, those pumps are not appropriate. And like I said before, they can actually make the condition worse, especially if they're not fitted right or working properly. So if someone has any medical conditions that they're trying to use the pump for, it's best to work with your doctor to get a prescription, at least in the United States, to obtain one of these medical grade pumps through insurance. Now, every insurance is different, but usually someone will have to go through a child period for different levels of pumps to get one that is approved for them. Again, this can get really complex, especially in the United States, and so it's best to work with your doctor, a certified lymphedema therapist, and a vendor to help give you guidance on how to go about this. Now that's all we're gonna talk about in this video. If you are looking to see how I put the pump on and how it works, please comment that down below and I will help make another video and help show tips and tricks on how to make that process easier. I do wanna thank Eros Medical for providing the pump and some of the images for this video to help share with you all. If you wanna see more videos about pumps, lymphedema or lymphatic diseases, make sure that you comment your ideas down below and I'll look for them for future videos. Other than that, I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you all in the next week's video. Thanks everyone.